What's up guys, it's OF at Lee215 here, and today I'm going to show you a couple tips and tricks on how to speed up Photoshop on your computer. Okay guys, so I recently just updated my Photoshop, and for whatever reason, uh, once I opened up the new updated Photoshop and I clicked on any type of a tool, whether it be the paint bucket, whether it be the type tool, anything, every time I clicked on uh, any type of tool and I tried to use it, I got a really long loading slash rendering screen that I never got before and this was happening for everything I literally couldn't use Photoshop at all now of course you know when you get these long loading screens and such you wonder this has to be some type of a performance issue well how I went about fixing this issue and speeding up my Photoshop was what I did was I went to the edit tab and once I clicked on the edit tab you want to come down to preferences and you want to click on performance now once you're in here uh, Photoshop should default to about 70 percent RAM usage now depending on how much RAM your computer actually has you can lessen this or uh, increase it as well I would recommend to try and increase it a little more than 70 percent but I'm also running a laptop that only has 8 megabytes of RAM so you know that it might vary from person to person but that's my personal preference is I'm at like 72 percent right now so that will help now the next thing I would recommend is uh, is your history states now I'll leave a link below if you want to read up on you know what all this has to do and why this improves your computer but when I actually updated my uh, my history states they were up towards like 50 and my cache levels were raised so you want to make sure you keep those low I keep my history states down towards like 8 or 9 and my cache levels at 4 now the big thing that actually ended up fixing my Photoshop and getting it back to the way it was before was deselecting and unchecking use the graphics processor now for whatever reason uh, I'm assuming that when Photoshop was trying to use my Intel graphics, it was just totally sending my computer into overdrive and freezing everything. So if you're having the same issue that I was, I would suggest um, unchecking this. Now, I'm sure that there's plenty of cases where uh, checking it would help the situation, but in my personal case, it didn't help at all. It actually made it worse. Now, the final tip and trick I guess I could give you to try and improve your Photoshop performance would be selecting scratch disks and make sure you have if you have uh, multiple drives that you have them selected now once again if you want to know more about what scratch disks are and kind of you know how they play a role in your Photoshop performance I'll leave a link down below that you can click on but make sure you have both of these clicked if you have multiple drives and you want to click OK when everything is said and done now the reason why this took me so long to figure out why my Photoshop wasn't getting better after clicking these things was because after you click OK you actually have to close Photoshop once you close Photoshop you're gonna have to reopen it and then all the changes will take effect now I hope this video helped out some of you guys because I know for me I spent like four hours trying to figure out why my Photoshop was it went from totally normal I could do anything to pretty much just coming to a screeching halt and rendering out every little thing I did so there you go guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did feel free to leave a like and as always guys it's all fully 215 peace